Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, the market made a marginal new high at 22.03 half. But ever since then, the sell side has been more active and dominant on the smaller time frames. The larger time frame bias continues to be bullish, but our short term bias today is going to be quite neutral because it is essentially a holiday session. We're heading into a four day weekend for the most part and uh, running on pretty low volume. So a sustained directional move is low odds on either side, to the upside or to the downside. And uh, the expectation is for the market to be relatively choppy and balanced on the day time frame. That doesn't mean that the market can't make a marginal high or attempt to break out to the upside. You know, that larger time frame bullish bias can still be very active in the market, but you really have to question the reward potential up here. And um, if you're buying at a very high price and the market is prone to be fairly choppy heading into the Thanksgiving holiday, then it's going to be difficult to really get much out of it. So um, it does make sense to be cautious and selective today and uh, be extra mindful of trade location. And if you're not able to get in at a price that offers you good reward to risk, then it's best to skip the trade because you're probably not going to be missing out on a whole lot. So, you know, this is all based on how the market typically behaves heading into the Thanksgiving holiday. You know, of course, any one instance, any one day can be different. But uh, overall, uh, typically the day heading into Thanksgiving is fairly low opportunity, low reward potential, and overall uh, quite choppy. So that's the expectation heading into today as well. On the downside, we have some support at 2195. And then the main zone on the day is going to be the same as yesterday, 90 quarter to 92 quarter. In the event that the market does break through that zone, we can still expect buyers at pretty much every support zone on the way down in alignment with that larger time frame bias. And even more so because the market is probably not going to put in a sustained directional move and um, by the time it gets to the next zone it'll be exhausted yet again and that larger time frame bullish bias is still going to be in the favor of long side so buyers can be active but um, the overall idea on the day is that the market could just continue balancing uh, for the most part within yesterday's range and if we are going to get a break to the upside it may just be a marginal new high it may not be something that really expands the range now this is something that you can monitor intraday in real time you know see if there's a pickup in the relative volume or if there is clear momentum because at this point in order to break out and get a sustained move to the upside you are going to want to see broad market strength and sustained upside momentum so if the tick is having trouble holding above zero or if it's holding above zero but it's printing relatively mediocre values, let's say around plus 300 or 400, you know, that's not really going to be enough to get much of an upside move. In order to break out and go significantly higher, you're going to have to see uh, the tick holding above zero and printing at least around plus 600 or so uh, in order to continue going higher. So, you know, given that we're heading into a holiday weekend, given that the overnight session has been very mixed and a failed breakout attempt, uh, is something we saw in the overnight session. You know, it makes sense to be more conservative today and uh, even more selective today than we were yesterday. So uh, just be very mindful of trade location, of reward to risk, and if that means missing out on a short-term move, that's okay because it's probably not going to be a very high reward potential trade. And if the market's choppy and there's not much going on, then you know these are the types of days where uh, even taking the day off uh, is perfectly fine because you're probably not going to be missing out on a whole lot. So, uh, you know, see how the market trades in the first uh, half hour or so. That'll be a pretty good indication of how the rest of the day is probably going to play out. So, uh, on the downside, like I said, we can still anticipate buyers to be active at uh, the support areas, especially if the market is exhausted into it. But we're not going to be shooting for. Uh, you know, big reward potential today, even if we are getting a pretty decent trade location. So overall, the expectation is going to be for a fairly two-sided 
and balanced session. So those are the main ideas. Heading into the open, let's see which side is more dominant here short term. You know, sellers have been a bit more active in the overnight session, but uh, larger time frame bias hasn't shifted at all. We're still quite bullish on the larger time frame, so uh, buyers can still defend the support zones below. So uh, we'll just keep an eye on the smaller time frame off the open to see which way momentum is leaning. And if we do get a pullback into a good area of support, then that could offer a decent opportunity. But uh, overall, the theme of the day is going to be to be very selective and conservative on both sides of the market today. So those are our main thoughts. Let's see if buyers can continue to hold this market up, and we'll take it from there.